Hi, it's Steve, and welcome to A Minute of Pain and FirestormFitCamps.com. This is part number three of the Get the Body You Want Through Exercise and Nutrition series. And today I want to talk to you about goal setting. And we're not going to go into a lot about goal setting on a traditional basis. What I really want you to do is focus on the time frame when you want it. I'm pretty sure you already know what goal you have in mind, whether it's a health or a, a fitness goal. And so with respect to that fitness or health goal, you need to put a time frame for its achievement, an end date. When do you want to achieve this goal by? What date? And you need to be specific because as the old saying goes, a dream without a deadline or a goal without a deadline is merely a dream, right? We want to take it from being a dream to being a goal. So you have to have a, a deadline for its achievement. You gotta have a target to shoot at, just like an archer. You can't just fling an arrow out in the space somewhere. You have to have a specific target to shoot at. So get your goal and put a date that you wanna achieve it by. Now make it sure it's a realistic goal. For example, if you weigh say 250 pounds and you want to get to 150 pounds, you know, you can't say, you know, within six months I'm gonna to get to 150 pounds. That's really not very uh, logical. It's not very doable, both from a physical or a health and safety standpoint, but it's just not very realistic, all right? So make sure your goal is, is realistic. And it doesn't have to be, um, by realism, I'm not talking, you know, some uh, boring whatever. Just make it a realistic goal. If I wanted to be a bodybuilder and I weigh 150 pounds and I want to get to be a 250-pound bodybuilder, that's, that's years in the making, all right? So you understand what I'm saying. Make sure your goal has a realistic deadline for its attainment. And then in your own handwriting, and this is very important, you need to write down your goal in your own handwriting in the present tense with a date for its achievement. So for example, you're a female and you're currently a size 12 and you want to get to a size 6, all right? Today is May 25th, right? No, 24th. Today is May 24th, 2014. So let's give yourself eight months for getting there, all right? So you would write on whatever eight months is from today, May, uh, let's say it's February of 2015, I am a size six in your own handwriting, all right? That doing it in your own handwriting is important because it solidifies it to your subconscious mind that your intent is there. And it's the intent that's gonna get the subconscious mind working in conjunction with the conscious mind to take action to do things. And without taking action, you're not gonna go anywhere. So this is gonna get you subconsciously thinking about it all the time. The other important part of writing the goal down in your own handwriting is it creates a neurophysiologic um, connection between your mind and your body, all right? And it allows you to uh, have that link where your, your mind can work on this problem or this goal all day long, all night long, that powerful subconscious mind going to work for you is huge. So write it down in your own handwriting and then look at it on a daily basis, at least once a day, preferably twice a day. I may have mentioned the story once before, but Dan O'Brien, the former decathlete, was asked one time what his goals were and he reached into his pocket and pulled out a list of all his goals. And the guy asked him, do you always carry your goals around with you? And Dan looked at him incredulously and said, you mean you don't? So take your goals with you, look at them. They're yours, they should mean something to you. Put that end line date of achievement on it and then go for it. And I'll see you in the next video.